guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. So a lot of you people ask where do I get my clothes from or where do I suggest you can get your clothes from. So I'm just going to give you a basic rundown of things. Do remember this is my opinion. You can have a completely different preference over it and that is completely fine. If you think there is some really good store which I have not mentioned, then you can always say it in the comment section below. Now before getting into the stores that I usually shop from, I'm going to give you three, no, two basic tips actually. So the first tip is that if you are someone who likes really good fabric for your undergarments or socks, then Jockey is one of the best things out there and get it from India. It's no point in actually buying expensive things from here or even mediocre things that are really expensive. Now, the second advice is that if you're someone like me who completely lives in their Levi's, that is Levi's 701, 711, 501, if I'm not wrong. So if you're someone of that sort, then do get your jeans from India. Getting denim over here is going to be a little expensive. Mintra has usually great deals going on, even Amazon for that matter. So always try to buy your denims from there instead of buying it from here. I'll give you a list of the stores that you guys can go to to get your stuff. Now this can be useful for some, might not be that useful for some, but if you hear me out, I'm sure you'll gain something out of it. First store is that if you are someone who does not mind wearing secondhand jackets, secondhand, you know, blazers and everything of that sort, even just in general secondhand stuff, so there is a really good store which is known as Value Village. It is really popular in here. Here people don't think that, you know, wearing secondhand clothes is something like only poor people do. Actually, secondhand clothes are worn by a lot of people over here. So in case if you are someone who is attending a party or like an office meeting, and if you think that is not necessary for everyday purpose, then I really advise you guys to go to Value Village. So Value Village has like a huge range of things from books, to clothes, to footwear, to everything. And it's something, it starts from something from like $2 to $20. So you get like a real good amount of stuff from there. The second store is Ardeen or Ardeen as some people say. Now this store has a huge, huge variety of clothes and they have clothes coming from like really different ranges. They always have some kind of sale going on. And this store is basically for females. So from your swimsuits to your bare essentials, to your night dresses, sweatshirts, every damn thing is present over there. You can get anything you want. And the thing is that they are quite cost effective too, but I don't personally like their material that much. So I don't shop from there. But then if you are someone who likes to wear things for like two, three, times two three occasions and not wear it again then i think that's a great store for you guys next thing is basics if you are someone who lives in basics like i do like i always usually wear one color i don't wear like a bunch of different things i love basics even when i was in india i just used to wear basics so you can always go to h&m and forever 21 they have really good basics and there's also a store known as garage over here even that has very like a good basic collection, but the only thing is that it can get a little expensive over there. Now also remember that there is something known as Forever 21 Men and H&M Men. And so you don't have to worry that it's just female driven. It's actually unisex. Everyone can go over there. Now, so many of you have asked me, where do I get my winter clothing from? Where do I get my sweaters from? The sweaters are really nice. I usually get my sweaters from Gap. Now, if you think that Gap is too expensive for you, then you can always go for something like Old Navy. Even those guys have like great deals going on, especially if you buy it from the factory outlets, it's going to be like a super good thing. Now, coming on to formals, you can go to actually any store and get your formals. It's not something that you're going to wear more often over here. Even in offices, you don't wear formals that much. But in case, especially for females, if they want something like formal based kind of things, then there is a store known as Dynamite and they have a really good range over there. Now, a lot of companies over here, they have reject materials kind of thing, or they have materials that have like really minor defect and they have not been taken forward or the fashion has gone away and they have been set back. So there are stores no known as Winners and Marshalls where you get footwear, makeup, beauty stuff, home stuff, a lot of stuff, and most importantly, a lot of clothes over there. A lot of people buy their winter jackets from there, so I would definitely recommend you to check that out. 
Now for all your sportswear and even for your shoes, I would ask you to check out the respective factory outlets of the, those brands like Nike, Adidas, Puma, etc. Also the fact that if you want everything in one store, then I would advise you to go to something known as Sports Check. So it's like a huge mall complex kind of thing just for sports. Now if you're someone who likes to wear really expensive clothing if you are someone who likes to spend on clothes and that is completely okay because it's your choice and money then you can go for something which is known as urban outfitters then there's something revolve reformation and there is also something which is an extension of old navy gap which is known as banana republic so you can go there and if you like something then you take it Coming on to my last category which is actually a very popular option over here is some of the online stores which are actually available in USA but they don't have like a store store in Canada or they might have a store but they are there in very limited locations and those stores are literally my most favorite stores. Those are the places I shop the maximum from other than Gap. It is Aeropostal, Abercrombie & Fitch and most importantly most favorite of mine that is Hollister. They have really good deals always going on. It's really in budget and it the quality is amazing irrespective of the number of times you wash their stuff they're going to be intact i hope you found this video useful guys and if you have any demands for any other videos of this sort then do let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to make it